Hello everybody. Um, we are doing the Summertime Block by Nelly. Um, this will be our video number one. Right now I am stitching the center circle that our uh, humming I'm sorry that our hummingbird will go inside of. I'm going to try to do try to not talk too much. It's more of a visual thing anyway. So uh, yeah, enjoy. And now you can tell I have my block marked in certain spots here. That's so I know uh, what to put in that area when I start stitching it. If I were to recommend doing anything differently than what I'm doing right now, uh, I would definitely recommend marking your center design, your hummingbird, before you baste all your layers together. Um, I didn't even think about it until I was completely done quilting and I stepped back and I looked at my block and I thought, oh gosh, I did not put my hummingbird in the center and with two layers of batting and two layers of fabric, there was no way I was going to be able to uh, trace it on there. So I had to use the grid transfer um way of doing it and I did make a video tutorial on that it should be uploaded on YouTube by now so you can check that out if you need to and right now it looks like I'm going to be doing my lines actually I'm not really sure Oh, I see. I'm doing my uh, the triangles around my circle. Now, if you notice, I don't have a lot of pins. I mean, you see one here and there. Um, I'd recommend um, pinning it more so you don't have to worry about puckers on the back. But definitely check your work on the back often. Now here is where I'm starting where I made the other line when I left my circle earlier. It was where my lines were going to start going. And Nelly did a great job um, designing this block. It turned out really good. Hers look really good with the contrasting colors, and I think it looks really good with the uh, white on white as well. And now you'll notice I'm coming up to the corner and I have my uh, reference line marked. We're, we don't want to mark over that. We don't want to change the direction of our lines, but we do not want to mark over that line. So go right up to it and come right back. And as soon as I get here to the corner, you'll see how it works um, on the next side. Okay, turn my work, and now we're just going to do the same thing, but we're just going corner to corner. And once again, we're not going to mark, or we're not going to stitch over that reference line.
Okay, sorry about the uh, machine light being turned on. I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm stitching. Um, I had to pause the video for a moment, and when I did turn it back on, I had my machine light on, and I didn't even think about it. I could see just fine, but I forgot that the camera doesn't really uh, like my machine light too well. So, yeah, again, I'm sorry about that. Um, all I'm doing right now is I'm still making my lines. As you can see, I'm right at the end here. Now I'm going to travel back down and we're going to work on our next line. Alright, getting all nice and situated. And originally I had marked these lines right here that I'm stitching on in red. And I know I had um, said before that the red lines are my reference lines, so I know not to stitch on them. But I got to thinking this is where my feathers are going to go. So I wanted the uh, spine, I guess you could say, for my feathers. So I went ahead and I did stitch on it. Um, you could do either way. It's really it's your preference, whatever, whatever you want. Okay, so now I'm just trying to figure out where to go next. Getting my fabric all set up, and now we're going to work our way down to the next corner, and then do our next uh, reference line, I guess, if you will, or the red line that I marked, to work myself right back up to the corner we just left. Okay, now we're gonna mark down that red line I drew my other uh, my other reference line, I guess. And I'm working my way back down to that corner that I just left is what I'm doing. And now I'm going to do my feathers. We're going to start with one big plume right up here in the corner. And again, I'm sorry about this machine light. Um, I'll be turning it off here just in a second. You'll be able to see a little bit better. And we're not going to go past that reference line. Um, that I just got done stitching. We want to stitch to it. That's going to be the spine for our feathers. And here, we can see a little bit better now what I'm doing. Sorry about that. Okay, so I fast forwarded a little bit, um, just kind of giving you an overview of what my feathers look like. I worked myself up to the corner, and now I'm going to stitch the other side of my feathers working my way down. I'm going to show you real quick how I do that from the corner.
basically what I'm doing is I'm stitching all the way down to this corner and then I'm going to stitch right back up that reference line to the corner I just left and then work my way back down again and I will do that the same in each corner all the way around my block and here we go all the way back up this would be a great time to use your rulers if you have a ruler foot on your machine or you're using a long arm and uh, you have the long arm rulers um, yeah, it would be a good one to practice on since it's a small project. I am not brave enough to use my... I've tried, but I just can't see well enough with my ruler foot. I guess I'm just used to this foot on my machine. But there, I'd work myself back up to my corner, and I'm just going to start my feathers just like I did on the other side. Going from top to bottom or right to left, however you want to look at that. And remember not to go over your reference line. Okay, now I've worked myself all the way around my block, and here is where I ended up where we first started our feathers. I'm just going to show you now how I start from that corner and kind of get into my feathers. I move down here to where I think the next plume may touch that reference line, and I kind of work it in that way. See how that worked? And now I'm good to go. And I will do the same exact thing I did before. I uh, work my way around my block. And this time I'm going from left to right. So here I'm just showing you uh, my finished, it's not finished, but my four sides of my block so far, how I worked myself around. And then I'm showing you the back of my project to see what it looks like when it's finished at this point in our design. So uh, look for video two to see how we finish off our block. Thanks for watching.